Hey everyone, so today as you can see before me, I have my first ever A5 photo card binder. This is the quite famous and quite popular B on D binder and I got it from K-Town For You at the same time that I got my 17 Attacker albums. If you want to see my 17 Attacker unboxing, it is linked above. I've also gotten two packs of refills for the Beyond D A5 binder. These refills were very inexpensive. They were only about $1.20 per pack of, I believe there's 10. Yep, yeah, so it's a pack of 10. So I'm gonna talk today about why I decided to get an A5 binder and why I haven't gotten one before, even though a lot of people have got an A5 binder. If you want to skip this part and just skip to the photo card storing, I suggest that you skip to the timestamp that I'll put in the video right now. So I have seen a lot of people on Instagram getting these little A5 binders or even um, very small binders that only fit one card per page. I will admit they are very aesthetically pleasing. As you can see, it's slightly translucent, so it's very good for um, taking Instagram photos and just seeing what photo cards are inside. There's also this little pocket that you can put your favorite photo card in, so it's really pretty. The reason that I didn't get one before today is because I have a lot of A4 photo card binders, the kinds of binders where you can put nine photo cards per page. And for me personally, A4 binders were always the go-to because I have a lot of them and it just makes sense to keep getting A4 binders because everything matches. I also collect OT7 or OT9 or just I collect all the members of a group for a lot of groups like Twice and Victon and for Twice and Victon who have nine members and seven members respectively it makes a lot more sense for me to have um, nine pocket pages rather than these four pocket pages. But I did watch another YouTuber's video a couple of weeks ago where she talks about the best way to use an A5 binder. But the main reason why I got this binder today is because you can put kind of miscellaneous photo cards that you don't have anywhere to put in your normal A4 binders. So that's why I got this binder today. So let's open up this binder and see what it looks like. I'm gonna put these refills off to the side because I don't think I'll be using them for a while. But yeah, these refills are pretty good. Now moving on to the actual binder. So as you can see, it's a little bit loud. It comes in this plastic wrapping, which I am just gonna take off now. Okay, so as you can see, this is the actual binder. It has this black strap, which I'm actually not really a fan of. I can remove them because there are these little holes. Because personally, I don't really like black on white. So just removing that strap. Actually, I'm going to put the strap back because uh, you can see that there's little grooves here where the strap is supposed to go. So I guess it makes sense to have it on. Okay, so basically this is the binder. It says... Deco Pocket A5 B on D, and then some little emojis at the bottom and some random English words. I don't know if I'll remove this using nail polish remover or something. So today I have a bunch of random photo cards. Um, as I've progressed with my collections and various groups over the past year and a bit, I've gotten a couple of photo cards where I've either not been able to finish a collection, not wanted to finish a collection, or just photo cards that I find really cute, but there's kind of nowhere else to put them. So that's what this binder is all about. Now for the front little pocket, I'm going to put this Mingyu. <laughs> um, it's really, really cute. This is a fan-made Mingyu Hitori Janai photo card, and it is really good quality. Here, we'll just go here. So my friend gifted me this Mingyu, um, it's fan made, and at the time I didn't have any Mingyu photo cards, so I'm really glad that I have one photo card for him. So there is that, and now let's get into storing inside the binder. Okay, so in total the pages that come with this binder, you get 25 of the four pocket pages, and then you also get five one pocket a5 pages so today the main focus will be on the four pocket pages because i've prepared a couple of miscellaneous photo cards um firstly these are the wonu and mingyu your choice 
you do you B photo cards. So the story behind these is that I hosted my own group order to get into the June fanzine for your choice. And as part of that group order, I claimed for myself a Jun, a Wanu, and a Mingyu. But then when I was reorganizing my binder the other day, I found that um, I have a full nine pocket page of Jun pre-order benefits and fanzine photo cards, but I actually have nowhere to put Wanu and Mingyu. And so I really don't want to give them up either because they're really, really cute. So I've decided to put them in here instead. So Wano will just go in this top pocket. And then Mingyu will go next to him. And another thing to note for these binders is that the sleeves are quite small. So if you're using protective plastic sleeves on your photo cards, you need to get the Japanese size ones. I always use Japanese size um, plastic sleeves for my photo cards anyway, but if you're used to using like Dragon Shield or um, other brands like that, you will need to go to um, a Japanese brand. That is it for your choice. And the other photo card I'm gonna put down here um, is this Mingyu photo card, which is from Ideal Cut. So I claimed this for $1 in a bid sale um, and this was before the time when I decided to not get any more Mingyu non-album photo cards. So he'll just go here and I do have the Wanu equivalent coming as well. So hopefully it can make a nice four pocket page and yeah, that is it for that page. And as for the next page, I have a few more like concert and trading cards for 17. So first off is this mini card which I really can't let go of and I really can't get rid of um, but I don't really collect unit cards so I love mini pair and they will just go here. And the next photo card is this Mingyu. Um, I claimed a Mingyu and a Jun together, and then I was waiting for a Wanu, but I don't think he will be very available. So I am just gonna keep this Mingyu because I think he looks really cute and really pure in these blue jeans and this plain white top. And it kind of matches this one in that they're wearing the same thing. So he can just go next to the mini pair photo card. And last but not least is this Wanu Ode to You holographic photo card. I claimed this in a OT13 group order of these holo photo cards back when Wanu was my bias. So I really don't want to get rid of it. I have a lot of good memories with the group of people that I did the group order with and the group order manager. So he will just go here. These bigger trading cards just fit into these little pockets. So be aware of that as well. And that is it for that page. So I think that is it for 17. Now moving on to Victon. First up, we have these films. So for their first concert, New World, when you buy the um, DVD, you get a random film. And I was originally planning to collect all of the films, but it has been really hard for me to find the rest of these films um, because the group order manager that I normally go to is located in the US. And I don't know if you guys know, but USPS, so the United States Postal Service, recently suspended um, letters to Australia. So that group order manager is kind of out of the question now for me at least. Um, and then I was trying to sell these but I thought I would just keep them in here and there's four of them so it kind of works out anyway. So this is the Sungshik one. And then just in age order, this is the Hansei. And the Byungchan. And the Subin. 
Okay, so that is that for that page. Another thing to note is that when you're putting in photo cards, please be careful not to rip the pages because they are quite fragile. Okay, next up we have more Victon photo cards. And this time uh, I'm going to put these four in the same page. So this one is the Sejin Slow Acid photo card. I got this because I love the way he looks and I love how he's wearing a grey hoodie. It's very boyfriend material kind of vibes. Um, and you guys may know that Slow Acid has extremely expensive photo cards. Nowadays, I would say it's around 25 Australian dollars to 30 Australian dollars for one photo card, depending on which member, of course. So Sungwoo would be a lot more expensive. And yeah, I just didn't really think it was necessary to get OT7 for Slow Acid. But I did really, really like this Sejin photo card. So he would just go up here. Then the other three, which I think you guys have seen from previous photo cards during videos, are these My Music Taste Continuous photo cards. Um, this is another one where I gave up on collecting OT7. And I actually sold a the Byungchan that I had, and I've been trying to sell these for a while, but I kind of have semi-given up on selling them. So I think I'll just keep them in here. They are really nice photo cards, and they're a little bit rare as well. Okay, so that is it for that page. Quite nice. And last but not least, there is this photo card. This is a New East photo card and it's of JR and Aaron. JR and Aaron are not my biases from New East, my bias is Minhyun. But I think this photo card is just adorable, um, especially JR with his curly hair. And I love the colours in this photo card. So I have decided to just put this in here. So this is my first ever A5 photo card binder and let's flip through it together. So we have a lovely cute Mingyu on the front. Then when we open it up, we have a page of Wanu and Mingyu. More Wanu and Mingyu. Then we get to Victon, so this is the New World Films. Then we have um, Slow Acid and My Music Taste Continuous. And last but not least, we have a New East Unit photo card. So yeah, even though I didn't store that many photo cards away today, I hope you enjoyed this little video of my first A5 binder. I do also hope to be able to just buy random photo cards that I like and not just stick to sets of photo cards or um, photo card templates that I absolutely have to follow. So this was really fun for me and thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye!